Welcome to Morrowind Monday. This is Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'll be your host for this episode. Let's crank up the volume of my headphones a little bit. Yes, exactly. This low volume is upsetting, uh, unsettling even. And oh, hello, Ajira. Mwah, mwah, good friend. It's very good to see you. Um, don't know why I slip into this um, Khajiit accent. Uh, or as, as I tend to call it, the fake Russian accent, whenever I talk to Ajira, but still. Um, yeah, so it's been a good while since I recorded last time, as it mostly is with each recording. Um, I've reached the end of the pre-recorded episodes, and last time that I left off, I promised to check out how to kill uh, and trap the soul of this, uh, of this golden saint. And I checked. And basically, I think I need to change my fighting style. But also, the main reason why I was so obsessed with all of this, why I was so obsessed with getting this house and all that, is because I want to get rid of all these books. So I also read up, is, are there any any persistent chests? Because I, I'm pretty sure that chests do reset. And then I read a post, and then I felt very stupid, because this is something I should have known. And the thing is, if you place a thing in the world, like something that lies around here, like these books, then it'll stay there forever and ever. It will not despawn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a place now, and I'm going to just dump all the books there, just, just lay them on the ground or something, and basically pretend that this is our our place, kind of that this is the place that we can store our books. And I think I'm just going to use Kaios Casada's place because he said that we can use his his place like a home. So let's see. And this should alleviate lots of problems because our main problem is that we're constantly over encumbered, which sucks donkey balls. Okay, so let's head over to our boss, Kaios Casades, and just dump all the books on a big pile in his house. And hopefully he won't mind what he told us that we can use it. Maybe maybe even just... I mean, I don't want to put them outdoors, because if it rains, uh, rain is not good for books, right? So let's put that here. And let's see where we... Ah, let's, well, how about we just what may stack I do? them onto this... Bench. What does he has here? Uh -huh. Probes, all that stuff. <laughs> yeah, let's let's try putting them here. So what we're going to do is we are going to make this smaller, and we're going to put the books down. So the thing is, let me real quick check the story time. So according to this, there's only two story times left, which is weird because, for example, this book is not. Oh, okay. I am a bit blind, but still this book is not there. Well, you know what? I'm just going to do story time of new books. So this one I know is a book that we need to do story time on. So I'm going to um I'm going to do this as soon as I can and then it might be that when we enter here again, the books will be sorted differently. Because I might have picked all of them up and synchronized the story times. There you see. Singing Gardens on Oblivion. I think if the stack is too high, I, I, I'm pretty sure I won't be able to yeah, see, it's it's uh, this is not this is not good. I want to stack the books, not not like yeah, it's suboptimal. I'm going to put more books here. So it is important where I where I click the book, as you can see. Now I'm stacking them a different way. Uh, and yeah. 
It looks a bit weird, but uh, it is manageable. The important part is so this is high enough. The important part is that the books are here and our no, I need to look like this, that our inventory space. So I'm going to just put another open book on this open book, see. Oh yes, this is way better. Look at our encumbrance bar. And one here, another one there. I mean, they can intersect each other, which is a weird glitch with the engine because there is no real physics engine associated with it. This is why I can stack the books in this weird way. And then let me just go here, put some more books here. And see, now we can also start using things again and carrying things again, actually. Look at how much these books, that was over 100 points of encumbrance just with the books alone. Wow. And this book is The War of the First Council. Let me just add this to the story time. By the way, another good thing is that um, I need to type a little bit blind here. Where is, where is my, there is my key. Um, the War of the First Council. As you can see, the overlays work again. After an update to OBS, the overlays work again. So there we go. I'm going to leave it there. Just these are all the books that we have now. Okay. <sighs> Perfect. So this also means that I can show the to-do list again. And let me real quick. No, this is wrong. This is uh, the list overlay. No, this just zooms. Okay. Then I'm going to. Yes, doing life adjustments. I know this is very unprofessional, but I am also not professional. I am just a little kitty. So let's see, what do we want to do? So I wanted to, I'm pretty sure I have advanced to wizard. Um, but I think the second thing here is, is a very good idea. Learning a strong shield spell, I think is a good thing to uh, go against the um, not flame Atronax, against the Golden Saints. Um, well, finding out something about the disappearance of the dwarves, I could actually go and ask Caius Cusatus if he knows something. Which would be for the Mages Guild. There we go. I just, uh, I just, uh, fixed the UI of the game. Um, so we, we don't, we don't do this. We can advance to Adept in the Temple. We can check with the apothecary in the Talvani district. There seems to be something there. Okay, let's see. Let's see the temple. I have some some ask. Okay, that these are already tagged. I need to. You know what? I'm just going to, to show you exactly what I'm doing right now. So this is this is the little tool that I'm um, that I'm using to. This basically is the to-do list. So here I see, for example, things that you won't see. For example, if I double-click here, I want to have the item that I double-clicked here selected in this tree. This is a new feature that I want to add. And for example, I want to have to, to cut the source. Uh, the source video into 30 minute chunks, which is easier to handle for the editing software. Here I can create um, thumbnails. I wanted to have a checklist before each stream and all that stuff. Um, and here I have, for example, I have the temple, I have ask someone, 
for duties and there it said before I can do this I need to advance to cure it so it won't show this it will show advance to blah 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 to cure it and it doesn't show advance to cure it because I'm not I haven't yet advanced to adapt so this is like a I can I can tell it that there is a predecessor that I need to fulfill before I can do the other thing so it won't show the other thing it only shows the predecessor just so you know, so I'm right now checking because I, uh, if I see with the uh, apothecary, I have no clue. So there is there is a lot of things that I wrote down where I wanted to go. Ah, okay, so it is Telvani district. So I should change this district safe because else I would not know. Also, I should have added the tag Vivek. Which means if I here filter for Vivek, um, it'll only show me, where is it? I'm now blind, I'm there. It only shows all the quests associated with the city of Vivek. Um, and it even does when I click this show to-do list and I filter for Vivek, it also only shows this single, this single thing in the overlay. So this is what I'm using and I'm checking what I want to do right now. What where we're going to go, I kind of ab now abandoned the thing that I want to have this this house as fast as possible because I got rid of all the books already, um, which is good. So maybe I should just go and check the first one, I guess. Let's advance to wizard in the major skill. It seems like I don't need to oh, look up. I feel like I run faster. Speak, traveler. Which is obvious because I'm not like I don't carry 200 kilos anymore. You, talk you get so you used to be that being that slow. Okay, let's see if I can in the major skill advance. So I want to, um, to talk about advancement. I must have a wizard's staff. Interesting, interesting. So to advance in the major skill, I need a wizard's staff. I could sell you a wizard's staff, but they're quite expensive at 5,000 septims. However, I also know a former member of our order, Anirn, who may still have her staff. Oh, what about her? Really, any wizard stuff will do, but it's no crime to take one from a renegade and outlaw like Anirn. Last I heard, she was in the caverns of Sud. Honestly, I don't want to kill someone um, because uh, because she says so, because she made me kill someone else. How much do I have? 4,000 gold. Which means I'm still lacking a little bit. Mm, of course, the things that I have don't sell for that How expensive, wonderful. but still, what? let's go to our good friend Ravir. Ravir, hey, I'm back. Look how fast I am since I got rid of all these books. I know you always told me to sell them to you, but you know I haven't read them yet. So I need to, you know, I need to hold on to them a little bit. But I have some, well, some weird magical trinkets for you. Um, this actually is interesting because, um, oh, this is also, ooh, nice. That's actually interesting. Summon Atronach. For 120 seconds on self, I think if I use it, I will automatically equip it. Oh yeah, it, it removes the robe. Did it remove something else or just the robe? Ah no, 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 no. That was I didn't equip it. I clicked the robe in that uh, screen, and thus now it's too loud. Let me real quick turn down the volume again. Um, no, it does not remove anything that I'm wearing, which is perfect. So I can summon the Etranux that fight for me without using any Magicka, which is awesome. Oh yes, it did. It removed the glass bracers. So it removes um, a very hefty armor rating, to be honest. Uh, damn it. Okay. So I need to summon them and then replace the bracers. I need to remember this. I'm pretty sure I won't. Well, what else do we have? So I have this 
I have this amulet. I have this thing. I mean, it's spell absorption, which is pretty neat. Can I wear a shirt under what I'm wearing? Does this work? Did it remove something? It doesn't look like... No? Nice. So this is nice, a spell absorption, but of course I need to use it and it only lasts for 10 seconds. Um, but I can get rid of the... I think I'm going to get rid of the Scam Slinker belt and keep the third barrier one because it sh gives me shield. Even though it's just 15 points, it's still shield. I need to get a strong shield spell. Why are you shaking your head? I'm going to sell something to you, even though I need three tries. Look at this. I'm going to sell to you these three trinkets. Um, and um, I... Greater Domination. I don't need this, because I know... Scroll of Healing is interesting. The Carry and Flight we will never use. I'm pretty sure of that. Let's remove... Okay. This is still too much. Now we're talking. Thank you very much. And wait for a day so his money has refilled. And then sell this and... Oops, that was, that's the wrong one. These again. Because we don't need them. I think we did the ice cold water thing already. So I think I can sell the bucket of ice water. I'm going to hold on to these because they are so light. Mm, I think that's actually it. Because if I fill these, I will. Uh, they will mm, give me more money. And this is a restore fatigue thing which I can use for potion making. Okay. So now we actually should have the 5,000 for the... No, oh, we're looking a little, little bit. Itty bitty. No. No worries. This just means we're going to do something else. How about, as I said, asking Kayokos Kosadas about the disappearance of the dwarves. Of course, I need to click the show to-do list button again to hide the to-do list. And yes, I know this is a little bit confused. Um, a little bit confused playing. I am a little bit confused as a player <laughs> right now. As I said, it's been a while. Uh, but bear with me. We will get all of this sorted I out. Hate. And I'm pretty sure that some of these things here in my list are actually old. Um, it seems like I did not, did not update the list always. Grumble, grumble. Okay, Kaios Kassad. Do you know something about the Eden? No, but I can ask about um, I can ask about the blades, for example. We are spies. We're the Emperor's hidden eyes and ears in the province. We watch the Emperor's enemies. We look for opportunities. We make reports. And when the Emperor commands, we obey. But we're only one of many guilds and factions in Morrowind. You should know a little about Morrowind politics before you get involved with any of these other groups. So who are you then? I am the Imperial Spymaster for Morrowind. And, since I'm the ranking Blades agent in Morrowind, you report to me. You follow orders and we'll get along fine. Well, I've heard of this weird thing called Copra's disease. Do you know anything of it? I don't know much about it. I've never seen a case myself. You can get it from contact with the red mountain monsters that they call corpus beasts. I think it's like a blight disease, only worse. It actually drives victims mad and causes terrible deformed growths on the body. I'll check my informants and find out how to cure it. In the meantime, just follow orders. I don't think what I don't know what else to do. Okay, I'm not going to ask all of them. I'm just going to do a few each time. Greetings. Greetings. Um, so. I can't ask him about the disappearance of the dwarves, as it seems. Uh, well, let's move this out of the way of the mouse, then. Good, good, or bad, bad. Um, let us see what else do we have. Uh, advanced to adept in the temple. 
I think I'm going to I'm going to change it so it, it reads uh how Stelvani capturing the soul's needs uh me to learn a strong shield spell. There we go. Now it should be now it should have been removed because we don't have the shield spell yet. So let's see if the temple wants to let me advance. Whoops, I don't know, I'm just running back and forth right now. <laughs> and um, the temple is up here. My eyes, I'm sadly, my eyes are mainly on the to-do list. I'm kind of checking what to do next. Okay, let's see. Can I advance in the temple? I think it was over here. No, he's not the guy who gave me orders. That's also not the one. Are they downstairs? Yes, I. At least I remembered correctly that there's no one inside there. And no advancement or orders either. Now that I decided to start recording, I need to yawn all the time. That's not fair. Because you can't talk while yawning. Okay, let's check upstairs. And it feels like... Um, no, not even here. Greetings, Outlander. It feels like Balmora Temple does not have their advancement. The temple recognizes you, Nighty. You're now Nighty the Adept. I assume that this is a woman because I didn't actually pay attention. But I have advanced to... And I, sorry, I did not disable the to-do list. I am really... I am really confused. Let's do this and then ask for duties. Aldrun or Mulagmar... Interestingly enough, the advanced to cure it in the temple is 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 um, is before the ask tools Valen in the temple for duties. But still, this is um, more interesting. So I need my wizard's staff. So let me let me just do this. Um, so in order to advance to wizard. In the Mages Guild, I need to get 5k gold, then buy Wizards Staff from Balmora Steward. I always forget her name, and then become Wizard in the Mages Guild. So now we see that the quest has been changed to get 5,000 gold. And of course, of course, I need to now set, as you can see, I need to set these. I thought I had made it so these, this is implicit. Um, but it seems like it is not. Um... Where is it? Mages Guild. Advance. Buying the wizard stuff. So now we are better. Now this is better. Now it just says get the 5000 gold and ask the Eldron Temple for duties. Um, I'm just going to go through these. 
So we can also do this special quest with uh, Louis Beauchamp, who, who acts really strangely. I think that's one of the add-ons, though. Check out the party of pilgrims east of Lake Namia, northwest of Mount Kand. We could go to Telarun and visit Maurice, Murray's friend. I think we're going to ask the Aldrun Temple. Do you have something to say, Outlander? No, I have said all that I need to say. I'm going to head to Aldrun. And there. I was a little bit confused now because it took so long to check. And again, I forgot to. I'm so used to that overlay not working now that I'm that I forget to turn it off. Okay, so we are heading yes. over to Waldrun. I've just seen uh, a video about uh, how quick travel systems in modern games kind of break the game immersion, and how the quick travel system of this game is way better. And the reasoning was that A, in order to quick travel, you can't just open the map and click anywhere. So I can't just click on Ghost Gate and travel there. Uh, but I actually need to find, find a person who offers these services, talk to them, and tell them, hey, can you take me to Aldrun and pay money? And this is basically how the inhabitants of Morrowind would do it also. And the second thing is that it does. I can't go everywhere. So first of all, going to Aldrun is possible from Balmora, but I can't go to Aldrun from, for example, Vivek. So I need to do multiple hops, which gives you a sense of distance, which the modern day fast travel systems don't. Second thing is only like this, only the 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 left half of the island, the the western half of the island is connected via Siltstrider because this middle region here is not passable for them. So there is no Siltstrider service actually to um, the east. And here you are mostly going by ship. So you also need to, to know which routes there are and which, um, yeah, basically which, which service to use, which makes it way, way more immersive. Okay, now let's check the temple with this nice sunny day. And even though it is a sunny day, I need to yawn. <sighs> this better be important. Yes, it is. I'm going to ask for duties in the temple. And this I would be Tools Val and that's him. Hello, I, I want to have more duties. Speak with me again when you've proven yourself in the temple. I've got one more thing to ask of you, but you're not ready. Until then, speak with Uvo Laren in Ghostgate. Okay. <coughs> Sorry, so he doesn't tell me when I'm ready enough. So I need to change... this the temple well let's and I, I do know that um let's see can i advance your devotion to the temple is not in question but you still require a bit more experience redouble your training and practice your skills to become knighty the curate okay so the thing is um i need to that i need to um, the temple Temple advancements, advanced to curate, is now a prerequisite in order to ask uh, there we are, ask Aldrun for duties. That's sad. Okay, so since we need since we need a little bit of gold, let's see about the apothecary in the Telvani district. 
And yes, I know this is suboptimal. It's not very fulfilling, but still, let's real quick take the guild guide over to Vivek and then head to, to the Talvani district. And also we can go to, if, if we're doing this, we can also um, get to the Halalu Canton, Canton where we want to check on Gadain and Darius. And this is the fella north of the Mages Guild, this Louis Bouchon, who is acting really strangely. And here we are, Vivek. I'm all yours. Please go ahead. Well, actually, yeah, I'm go go going to go ahead. Um, because I uh, currently have no um, no interest in dealing with you. Um, and actually, I'm, I think I'm going to uh, stop this episode here um, and off stream real quick search the apothecary. So we will start off in front of, the, off of its door in the next episode and actually fetch something to drink, which is something that I have not done. And you might have noticed that I did not tell you to fetch something to drink. I promise I will make this up to you next time. So, bye-bye.